Okay, today on March 12th, here in uh, North Carolina, we're going to be testing a wetting agent uh, on gasoline along with a alcohol resistant foam on gasoline. Uh, the fuel we're going to be using is pump gasoline, 87 octane, uh, with about 10% ethanol in it. What we're going to do now is uh, just test the pro pack, make sure it's proportioning at 3%. Okay, I'd say that uh, we're proportioning and we got enough frothing to indicate that uh, things are working as they should be. Okay. Go for it. Keep the pro pack tipped forward when you do this. Okay, uh, go ahead and plunge the stream, Dan. See if you can mix the stuff up and put it out. Uh, plunging doesn't help. And we're about ready to overflow this test pan. Carry on, Dan. Just keep going until I say stop. So this is what happens with wetting agents when you have neat or pure fuel with no water bottom in them. Okay, you can shut down. Now Dan's going to just fill the uh, other pro pack that we have standing by here with the Universal Gold. We'll put a gallon or so in there of that. Dan's going to put the same nozzle on. We're at the same pump pressure. We're at 3%. percent going to give it another 10 seconds of pre-burn. The idea of the pre-burn is to get the steel very hot. This is not unlike wreckage, but around a crash scene. Okay, you're about 30 seconds, Dan. Go for it. Okay, shut down. Now we're going to let the foam do what it's supposed to do. It's going to try and seal against that hot, very hot steel surface in there. Uh, the foam is creeping up, up up against the hot steel. The leading edge of this tank is where the hot steel was, and the foam is finished doing what it's supposed to do. This is the uh, second go around with the uh, wetting agent. Okay, Dan's going to bring the fire in now. Uh, Gonna make sure he's making foam on the ground first. All right. Now he's gonna discharge the stream right at the backsplash. This application technique is how these products get their UL listing with uh, a uh, discharge against a backsplash. Discharging it direct directly into the fuel. Uh, we'll mix it up. Go ahead, Dan, do that. Uh, we only had a 
about, uh, oh, I guess about a gallon of gasoline in this particular test. We're just about overflowing the test pan here. And we're at 6% agent, wedding agent. Uh, one of the more popular wedding agents uh, in the industry. And now we got fuel running on the ground. Uh, and we're probably going to have a fire on the ground shortly. In fact, we do have fire on the ground now. The fuel is, uh, I think we're going to have to change material here. We got gasoline on fire. So we're going to go to the AFFF and put this fire out. We have some three-dimensional fires to deal with. He's going to put the fire on the ground out first. You got fuel running all the way down the street there. All right, and that fire's out. Now he'll just backsplash it. Good. Console operators tend to want to continue to discharge foam until the fire goes out. Uh, an experienced nozzle operator knows you turn it on and you turn it off, waiting to see some results from your activity. That's particularly important with AFFF. Uh, notice the uh, three-dimensional fire now that we have. We got gasoline pouring out of the uh, the weep holes here, and those kind of fires are impossible to put out where they're leaking out of the tank. Uh, with AFFF. The only way to manage that would be with a uh, dry powder or CO2 or something. Uh, but since there's not much fuel left, uh, we're just going to let this thing go. And uh, suffice it to say that uh, wedding agents may be okay for uh, home fuel oil, uh, small spills of oils and greases, but certainly not on gasoline. Particularly not on gasoline where there's no water bottom. So this is a definitely a buyer beware deal.